I hate this thing. Why does I don't like the fact that this thing takes a screenshot every single time I do this. All right, we are here. So now we gotta go to the uh, Revelio statue of Gregory the Swarmy, the Smarmy, the statue of interrogating, of ingrating grin depicts the medieval wizard Gregory the Smarmy, the wizard famous for inventing Gregory's untuous unction. A potion that makes the drinker believe whoever gave them the potion is their best friend. Indeed, your field guide. I'm most pleased to be included. My mother is so excited for me to come So wait a minute, this is something we can fast travel to? Side quests are available, can be found inside Hogwarts. Definitely gotta give me some new glasses. Mark this black flags and discover it by exploring the world. These quests reward HP but do not advance the main story. Okay. On another adventure, are we? Wait, hey, what was that? Okay. Oh, it's rendering kind of bad. I gotta change the, the graphic settings. Some bad renders. It's not the game's fault, it's my fault, because I, 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 I changed my, my settings around. to blast each other to pieces in your own time. I get new students every year, but I only have one Hebridean black skull. It was a token from the great poacher raid of 1878. No doubt you've heard of it. Now, you may be asking yourself how an old woman like me single-handedly took out the largest poacher ring in eastern Wales and lived to boast about it. Knowledge. To the wise, age matters very little. Today we will review a spell that has saved me from death at the hands of dark wizards more times than I care to remember. Levioso. Levioso? A levitation charm? Levioso! A surprised opponent is a weak opponent. Care to defend yourself, Master Pruitt? No? One thing I've learned as an unspeakable is the value of simplicity especially in the heat of battle. Now, let's practice what we've just learned, starting with something small. I like how they get you to learn the spells like that. That's dope. Levioso. Now, let's try something a little larger. No doubt we'll have to use those against monsters. Let us begin with the basic cost. See how the dummy deflected your cast. This time, cast Levioso first, then the basic cast. 
Remember, a surprised opponent is a weak opponent. As Master Pruitt <laughs> Now, the bet is well done. That's Good. dope. But the best way to practice is by dueling. We'll start with you two. Duelists, take your marks. Sorry for Awful a problem, problem before, too welcome. Now, <laughs> I want a fair duel using only Levioso, basic cost, and Protego. You may begin. <laughs> this should be Levioso. <laughs> this can't be your first duel. Let's just say. Oh, nice to do this again. Potato. 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 Everybody and their mama went to Gryffindor and Slytherin. I put you on the spot, and you rose to the challenge. Points to Hufflepuff. Hufflepuff, where is that, man? Thank you, Professor Hackett. Glad to have the opportunity to practice. If what I've seen today is any indication, we can expect great things from you. I demand excellence from my students. They are capable of achieving it, and they must achieve it. A classroom duel is one thing, but battling dark wizards, or as ever more likely, goblins, is a different kettle of Grindelows entirely. Oh, Understood, Puff, Professor. Man. So, I'd advise you to keep practicing That's whenever you Puff can. Swagger, man. Perhaps Mr. Sallow will have some ideas for you. Again, well done today. I shall reach out soon with additional assignments. All right. That's enough spectacle. I'd hate to face Professor Hecate in a duel. If you know the right spells, it's dark wizards that'll fear you, not the other way around. Nice work. I enjoyed that. Well, that duel was quite something. Everyone will be talking about it. It was certainly good practice. Yeah, look your ears. Practice. It felt more like I was dueling an expert. Sebastian Sallo, by the way. Folks I didn't expect a new student to be so deft with a wand. Von Winks. Then again. Perhaps this wasn't your first duel. <laughs> Brag or be humble. Brag. I've dueled enough. Consider yourself lucky I held back. Huh. Fair enough. You owe me an honest duel when you aren't. You know, you might be a perfect fit for a certain exclusive, unsanctioned dueling organization. Sounds intriguing. Exclusive and unsanctioned. Count me in. Excellent. Knew I was right about you. If you want to get the most out of your time at Hogwarts, you're going to need to break the rules now and then. Whether it's joining a secret dueling club or sneaking into the restricted section of the library, you just have to be clever enough not to get caught. Thank you, Sebastian. I'll keep that in mind. Good. Pleasure chatting with you. I'm sure I'll see you soon. Perhaps somewhere unsanctioned? We'll see if your performance today was sheer luck or actual skill. Yeah, Look for Luke and Brattle near the clock tower entrance. If you're interested. I'm definitely checking Until it out. Until next time. Oh, fuck, motherfucker. We do this. What are you up to? Rebellion. Get up there. How the hell do they expect somebody to get up there? How do I? I don't think owls make very good. Still not high enough. What's that cat? Oh. 
Revelio. What do you want? Hmm. We still gotta go upstairs. There's another flight of stairs somewhere. This can't be it. I'm gonna have to turn my renderers back on. Here we go. For charms, class. Professor Ronan tends to go on a bit. We'll check out some of that extra stuff after this. Here, behind you, there is an open seat here. Thank you. Hey, more Hello, chocolate. I am Nettie. So you are the new student. Have you met Professor Ronan yet? <coughs> Shall we begin? <laughs> Welcome to year five of charms. Now, this will be a crucial year in your education on the art of charm work, but I am confident that we will take hold with a passion and rigor requisite of such a challenge. Right he, he looks now, like he everyone, people about please form. open your textbooks to page 517. But before we begin, can anyone here tell me the difference between the incantations of the Color change and growth charms. Anyone? Anyone? Hmm? Uh, 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 I am afraid it is too late to study now. Hmm. My, the summer months must have really taken a toll on you all. <laughs> By the looks of it, you all spent your holidays practicing obliviate on one another. <laughs> uh, hmm. Do you? Even remember how to perform a basic summoning charm. Hmm? Hmm. Well, it seems that we are in dire need of review. Everyone get into pairs and take positions on opposite sides of the classroom. Now let's put those textbooks to use as the blunt objects you so believe they are and take turns summoning them out of one another's hands. Only one book will be needed per partnership, Miss Dale. Thank you. Get into place now. That's where I love these. Akio. is not bad. You are a swift learner. I see a lot of potential, but remember, potential is nothing without practice. Keep at it. You might just rival Miss Onai here. <laughs> Very good, everyone. That's enough of that. Well, as you all seem to have the basics down and it is an exceptionally lovely day, I was thinking that we might have ourselves a little excursion outside for a spot of fresh air. After me.
almost itching me on my chin. Anyway. Ah. Well, I've always found now. that fun well, goes hand in hand with mastery, my as sentence. I'm sure the Quidditch players amongst us would agree. Hmm? I'll do it in between <laughs> videos. So, what better than a bit of sport to put our prowess with the summoning charm to the test, right? <laughs> oh. <laughs> so why don't we have our newest students start us off? Hmm? <laughs> Very simply, cast Accio on one of the spheres and relinquish your charm at the last possible moment. Now, uh, think of this like gobstones, if you will. But instead of throwing the marbles out, you are summoning them towards you. Excellent. Not to worry. Oh, no. Very good. That's it. I'm gonna let right trigger. Very go. good. Points to Hufflepuff. But there's certainly no sport in playing without some friendly competition. Miss Onai, would you care to give our new student a bit of a challenge? Come on up. You'll be the blues just as before, and Miss Onai, you are playing red. Clear? Yes, sir. I should go first. Watch this. Phew. Oh, okay, no more. She thinks she's gangster. I got her. <laughs> oh, wow. Not okay. a kid. Typical lesson, is it? Not that I mind. Excellent control there. Does this? Awful pop motherfucker. Let us make this a bit more interesting, shall we? <laughs> Let's go. I think we are well past interesting at this point. I'll say. Enough chatter. Focus now. You will need it. This round settles it all. Watch this. Phew. Ah. my turn to school that ass. Oh. 
Rounds. You're a natural. What does this? Hey, Hufflepuff, motherfucker. That's how we do this. Hufflepuff, motherfucker. Very good, both of you. Well done. Hufflepuff. Class is dismissed. Gather your things on the way out. Can you start bringing in like a hundred? Good rat? game back there. I must admit, I think I underestimated you. Took me weeks to become proficient with Akio. Took weeks for me to get anything right when I transferred here. It gets easier, I promise. That does this. Glad you understand. That's good to hear. It's a lot to take in all at once. To put it lightly, I remember how I felt when I first arrived. I transferred here from Wagadu just before my fourth year. My mother received an offer to teach divination here. Before I knew it, we had left Uganda and were halfway around the world at a new school in a new country. Mm. This may seem an odd question, but is magic the same there as it is here? Mostly, yes. But I did have to learn how to use a wand when I arrived here. Hardly anyone at Wagadu uses one. You can cast spells without a wand. Oh, yes. I find wandless magic to be much more instinctive. Not to mention quite convenient if one is without their wand. I must admit, however, that I am growing quite fond of using a wand. It seems very... Dramatic. Mm. Is Wagadu a castle like Hogwarts? Its address is Mountains of the Moon. It is not so much a castle as a beautiful edifice carved out of the mountainside. I remember the first time I saw it, the mist was so thick I could hardly make out anything at all. And then it just materialized before me. This enormous school that seemed to be floating in midair. It's nice to learn about another wizarding school. school Thank you for asking. I do miss Wagadu, but I am glad to be here at Hogwarts. Ah, I think Professor Ronan wants to talk to you. Better not keep him waiting. Until next time. Yeah, what he said. Of course, word, you if can you would... use Akio on humans. If you're so inclined. You wanted to speak with me, Professor? I did. I trust your first charms lesson lived up to expectation? Well, an outdoor competition wasn't exactly the lesson I was expecting, sir. What charm is there in the expected? You did well, managing to best as gifted a student as Miss Onai. Thank you, Professor. I enjoyed the match. Miss Onai is always a fierce competitor. Though I sense that she is a bit distracted of late. <clears throat> now, Professor Weasley has asked that your professors give you instruction outside of the ordinary curriculum. 
Expect to hear from me soon regarding a special assignment that I am preparing for you. What he said. Nothing from here. Was there anything up here? Looks like his private room. A little one lock. Oh, we like level two or some shit. Hello there. You're the new student, aren't you? Yeah, mind your business. <laughs> In my blood, my mother says, from her side of me. And then I'm not tracking anything. Okay, maybe we can do some side quests then. Two side quests right now. I don't know why I was gonna easily have to class. Goblins, werewolves, where were you? In the Goblin Rebellion of 1752. And by the end of it, the minute of the. I don't think. Oh, I think we gotta go to that store. The shop. What about the room, Professor? I was uh, thinking the same is. thing, Deke. Perhaps you could help. I was wondering when we was going to see him. Oh, excuse, Deke. Ah, there you are. I trust your first classes went well? They did, Professor. I heard as much from Professors Hackett and Ronan. Seems Professor Fig taught you quite a bit before you arrived. I'd wager there's a good deal more to your travels here than what you've told me, isn't there? I wager there's a good deal more to your travels than you told me, no, Professor. Nothing more, Professor. I see. Like trying to get a sonnet from a streeler. Regardless, you must continue to build upon what you've learned. In that regard, I've asked your professors to help hasten your progress with some extra assignments. What more work? I'm not sure I have time for extra assignments, Professor. You shall find the time. You'd be astonished to know just how much you don't know. In fact, Professor Ronan will meet you outside momentarily to assign your first one. Now, regarding the trip to Hogsmeade I mentioned earlier, we've arranged to replace the supplies lost on your way here, including seeds, potion recipes, and spell crafts. Thank you, Professor. And Mr. Ollivander will connect you with the perfect wand. You've managed your classes well with a borrowed wand, but you'll find the magic you cast with your own wand to be far superior. Mm -hmm. I'm eager to get to Hogsmeade. Very well. I'd like you to make we'll your first visit to the village home. with a classmate. Help you get your bearings. Perhaps Sebastian Sallow or Natsai Onai. I've noticed you spending time with them. I'd like to go with Natty. Excellent choice. Yeah, we'll Miss Onai is one of our first. most talented students. And she knows the area. She'll keep you well clear of any of Victor Rookwood's undesirables en route. Rookwood? A rather unsavory local. Best to avoid him and his associates, including his right hand of sorts, Theophilus Harlow, if you can. Theophilus. Once you've finished Professor Ronan's assignment, your friend will meet you at the castle doors. No time to waste. The sooner you complete your work, the sooner you can enjoy a butterbeer at the Three Broomsticks. I 
information leads to Professor Rose. So I'm going to start a type of quest to give him you a hard work, Professor. When completed, it rewards you a new spells. The reward for completing your first assignment will be a mending charm or power, which is required to complete other quests. Okay.